What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we have a really unique video. So he's been wanting to do this for a while, I've kind of played it off for about two weeks now, and you know, it finally came to it where I'm just like, alright, you know, I don't know what to make a video on today, don't really have a tournament, I uh, haven't had one in the last few days, so I haven't been able to show you guys much tournament gameplay. So I'm just like, alright, let's do it, a professional 1v1 between myself and the best player in all of South America, Firecrow. You know, I've been on his channel many times, he's been on my channel many times, and we thought, you know, today is the day to get that 1v1 out of the way. So what we're going to do is a best of five, so the first one to three wins gets the dub. Let's hop into it. We did, we took turns picking brawlers. So for example, he picked one, I picked one, he picked one, I picked one, he picked one. He got a little bit of an advantage because I believe South America has a little bit more shot delay than North America. And, you know, we're trying to even it up as much as possible, so it's fair. So without further ado, let's get into that first game, and let's see what happens. So the third, the first brawler that he picked was Brock. So the reason he picked Brock is because I believe he's the first 1,000 Brock ever. If not, I think he got a 1,000 Brock. So what's going to happen here is the other two are just going to go to the side, and I'm going to be facing Firecrow. So I was able to get that initial hit over there, and basically what I did was I got as close as possible to him because he's just too easy auto-aims for me. So I went up to him, I, I auto-aimed him twice, and I got that easy kill. Now, obviously, if you're in a normal game, what you're going to want to do is hit his teammates in order to get your super. But that's cheating. You know, you're not allowed to hit the teammates to charge any super. So I'm not able to do that. Fire girl hiding in the bushes over there. I'm controlling the mid, leading 5 to nothing so far. A gem spawns. I'm a pretty aggressive player. I'm not really going to hide in the bushes for too long. He has a hit on me there. So I'm just healing up until I'm 3-shot from that Brock. I'm going to use my super. He's going to do a really good job juking it. I'm going to be able to hit that. I'm focusing on my jukes over here, making sure I'm not getting hit. And again, I'm getting as close as possible to him so I can just hit that triple or that double auto aim after I hit him once to take that 8 to nothing gem lead. I've killed him twice so far. He's killed me zero times. So he's coming back at us. I was able to hit him once, hit him twice. I was able to get a super, super quick kill on him. Good thing none of my rockets hit the teammates over there because that would have given me a super charge. The reason I'm standing in the middle and not running back is because if you just get pinched back in your own spawn, obviously that's not good. I was able to tap him twice over there. A super, I didn't hit him, but I was able to delay him. He does shoot, and I am able to get him with that. So in total, we killed him 4 to nothing, and we got 11 other gems. Now, the competition is whoever can win the most gems, just win the gem grab game. But obviously, the kills is a little bonus, so we won against him there. one nothing for me in the best of 5. Let's get into the second game. You guys will see the brawler, and I'll talk about what's happening. So here we go. So I picked Colt. Now, I'm really not that good at Colt 1v1s, to be honest. Like, I'm pretty bad at it, but he's the standard 1v1 brawler. Uh, probably one of the most, like, skilled brawlers in the game, so I just said, why not pick Colt? Just because I know you guys would like to see a Colt 1v1. So, Firecrow comes out tapping. I was able to get a good clip on him over there, so we're at the exact same health. He is having the mid control, though, so it is 3 nothing currently for Firecrow. Now, 4 nothing. He's looking in the bushes for where I am. He was able to hit me with one bullet, so I wasn't able to fully regen. Good jukes over there. I hit him with literally zero of my shots. He hit me with one over there, another one over there. And right here, I feel like I could have gotten him, but I missed a little bit too much. I'm two shot for him, uh, two pellets. He's, he, you know, he's max health. He's clearly dominating me so far. He should kill me over here. I'm going to back up. I was going for the kill over there. I was one tile away. If I had one more tile of range, I think I would have had that kill. But I wasn't able to reach it. Good job by Firecrow by keeping his distance when he's supposed to. No one has gone down yet. It's been super crazy so far. 8 to nothing here. He has the advantage on me. There's not much I can do over here. He's going to play this a little bit passive. Just because he's up 9 to nothing. You know, he can take his time. He can work me down. He can kill me at his own pace. There's no rush to it for him. I, for one, though, I have to play really aggressively. I have to go up and get those gems or else he's going to get them and be able to get countdown. Now over here he gets a huge lead on me, he uses his super which forces me to retreat and with that he's able to get the 10th gem, so it's 10 to 2 right now, I'm low health, he's just chilling, you know, what he could do is go to that right side and kind of just circle around it and it, it won't be much of a game, you know, he, I will be able to kill, uh, won't be able to kill him, so what's going to happen, he's going to go to his spawn, 4 seconds left, I was able to get a good clip on him and then I was able to use that cold super and be able to get all the gems, so I'm running back over here, 15, 14 seconds left. But then I do remember that what he did do also was he didn't hide back. He didn't really want to end it. So we're in the middle, you know, I'm continuously fighting even though I could win the game over here. Four, three, he gets a clip over there. He gets a super and with 140 health, he's able to pick up all the gems and run away. Now <laughs> he does a little bit of a spin. Firecrow always loves to do that BM, but you know, I don't really mind. He's a good friend of mine. So he's going to be running away. He's still shooting at me. Six, 
five and he you know he could have taken the fight here but i don't think he wanted to risk it so he's just gonna hide it's gonna be a match over and that's gonna make the series one to one good game over there by fire crow let's get into that third game so back to his choice of brawler what he's gonna go with is he's gonna go with that spike so we got the spike 1v1 going now um to be honest i don't play spike that much but i do find him a pretty easy brawler to play as i've stated before in recent videos so i'm just gonna be chilling Hitting those RNGs on him. Over here, I was able to hit him with the 2k, which is super unfortunate. Um, again, we don't really know the patterns for why stuff hits for 2k and why stuff only hits for 1300 sometimes. So, that is unfortunate for Firecrow. But right here, I'm basically just chilling, trying to hit those spike RNGs over there. Even though, yes, I do know they aren't random anymore. They are aimed. I still like to call them RNGs. So, over here, I'm just chilling. You know, I'm just hitting Firecrow with them. I'm one RNG away from killing him. That one barely missed, but he was able to retreat. I have my super and he's going to play aggressive, so I'm holding down my super, I'm trying to aim that in order for me to kill him. I do shoot my super and he's going to back up. I was able to hit him and get him low, but I wasn't able to get that kill. And good play over there by him, by uh, self-healing, you know, I didn't really think about that until he used it and I thought, wow, that's a really good way to use a spike super in a 1v1. So over there, I was able to hit him, I was able to hit him twice. All I have to do is hit an RNG, so I just threw that one out. I YOLO'd it, I didn't aim it, aim it at all, but I was able to hit Firecrow with that RNG. And that gives me the countdown of 10 to nothing and a 2 nothing kill lead. So I'm just going to super him over there as it's going to delay him and just shoot from the other entrance point because there's nowhere that he can go. I'm um, continuously RNGing him, he's 1300 health. He's just going to come near me. Um, not much he can do at this point. I'm just backing up, making, basically guaranteeing that win. One more second, I would have got the kill, but it doesn't matter. It's a 13 to nothing gem win. I was able to get that dub, which gives me the two to one series lead. All I have to do is win one more game to end it. Let's head into that fourth game and see what happens. So here we go into the fourth game. Now the brawler that I've chosen is Carl. Now I think Carl is one of my two best brawlers. I think that my two best at the moment are Carl and Jean. But no one's trying to watch a Jean 1v1 in which you hide in the grass, you chip, for 233 damage and whoever hits a pull wins so i decided that i wanted to play carl um so far you know I'm, he does have both gems but i am definitely way closer to acquiring my super um, i'm able to hit him twice over there and twice twice again over there i'm going to throw my pickaxe leaving him one or uh, two shot for the spin pick up the gems it's going to give me a four nothing gem lead and a one to nothing kill lead so firecrow is going to spawn he's going to run up to us he is normally going through that entrance point, so I just shot through that entrance while he wasn't on my screen and I was able to get him. And I'm able to get my super again before he's able to get his first super, so I already just have that big advantage on him. I'm just going to hit him over there and just roll into him because I know I'm going to be able to get that kill. But that does give him a super, so it's an 8 to nothing lead right now for me. You know, I'm feeling pretty comfortable at this point. Firecrow decides he doesn't want to go through the middle, and this is going to take him extra time, so I'm going to be able to get that ninth gem very safely um now i know that this 10th gem i don't really need it right now i have a huge lead on him and i'm just going to work away until i get into a favorable position where i know no matter what i'm going to get the kill so you know we're both healing up he's trying to go for the gem i'm able to hit him once hit him twice over there he's significantly lower than me so i'm just going to push him back i'm going to get that gem and instead of running away i'm going to make sure that i get that kill on him so i'm going to spin on him it's going to give me the 12 to nothing gem lead three to nothing kill lead I'm going to run back with 10 seconds left. Again, I'm not running to my spawn meat. That's, that's a baby thing to do. Five seconds left. You know, I'm able to get him. He just gives up at this point. He says, all right, Bobby wins. That's it. I'm going to pull up my babe, my Beyblade at the end. And that is going to be the 3-1 series win. So shout out to Firecrow for participating. You know, it probably, he probably had some shots today. So fair play to him. Um, he's definitely the most talented South American player. The most talented goal scorer in Bravo that I've ever seen. So check out his channel. If you guys want to see some crazy, crazy gameplay, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me 1v1. I could make it a challenge where I face other content creators or pro players in the community. And if you guys enjoyed this type of video, let me know. That's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be back later. Peace.